Welcome. Welcome to our service from the benefit of rural East York. On Sunday, we're celebrating in one of our smaller churches with a Christingle service. Light of the world, shine in this place as we gather today, so that we may take at your light into all the world, reflecting your glory and sharing your love. Amen. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 14 to 16. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. I don't know if you are aware, but the first Christingle was in Germany in 1747. A bishop called John noticed people were forgetting the reason Christian families come together to celebrate Christmas. To help people understand the real meaning of Christmas, Bishop John used what we now call a Christingle orange to represent the world, showing that everyone, no matter who they are, deserves to have hope. Red ribbon or tape that we now use to show that God loves the whole world. We know that's why he sent his son Jesus to die for us. The four sticks represent the four seasons, with the sweets representing God's creation which includes you and me. 
they also represent the good things in this world. The candle, which we put into foil, to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. Even when everything seems very dark, or we're really upset about something, God still wants us to know that he loves us and is there for us. We put foil under the candle because the Children's Society want to care for children and young people who are vulnerable. God sent Jesus to show how much God loves each and every single one of us, no matter how we're feeling. The Children's Society organise Christingle services each year. Some take place in Advent, some on Christmas Eve and some after Christmas. Money raised at the Christingle services is used by the Children's Society to make sure children and young people can have happy lives so that they can have an equal chance in life, no matter what their background or how much their family earns. Some of the children they help may have to keep moving house, which means going to a new school and trying to make new friends. And for some children, this is very difficult. Sometimes they help teenagers who find it really difficult to live with their family. The Children's Society will listen to children and young people and they will respond to what they hear. When we travel on the M42 towards Birmingham, I always look out for a church that's on a hill and think what a message that sends to people. It's like the city on the hill in our Bible reading, when cities in Judea were often built on hills with the buildings made of white stones. At night, there would be a glow of the lamps from inside the houses. So, the city on the hill was there for all to see. Jesus wants us to shine like that, so all around can see us and our actions. The light of Christ can tra transform or change us. We can then be a shining light in dark places, and we can love other people when they have a difficult time. Sometimes the light of Christ shines through us in our actions, in how we live our lives, or in the way we care for others, or in how we speak to people. We all have dark moments in our lives, when things don't seem to be going the way they should, or when something sad happens to us. It is then that we should remember that Jesus came to be the light of the world and he can light those dark times for us. I think the message of the Christingle today is to remind us to be ready when Christmas comes to welcome Christ into our lives and into our world so we can shine as a light into the future. Amen. Dear Father of grace, goodness and compassion, we pray in the name of Jesus, who died, who was raised, who is at your right hand, and who, with the Holy Spirit, intercedes for us. May God's loving friendship draw us as a community of Jesus into the transformation we need, changing us, moulding us, forming us, inviting us upward into an intimacy of adoring and listening to him. May we hear the call outward into the ministry we need, healing the sick, suffering with the broken, interceding for the world. Jesus, we pray for your church. We are told that only a third of people in our country claim to be Christian, and so we ask that you will raise up a new generation of leaders who could gather up and revive the people of God into communities of radical faithfulness and into fresh, bold expressions of love and obedience. 
Because the Bible says that the prayers of a righteous people are powerful and effective, we cry out to you now, Lord, as your people. And so we pray against injustice, oppression, destruction and brutality in your world, especially for the people of Ukraine, who suffer cold, hunger and fear as they struggle through this evil war. We pray for Putin and those who oppose all that is good because of their need to overcome at any cost. Here at home, we bring before you those who are sick, hungry, cold and displaced. Lord, may we take up the whole armour of God, the sword of the Spirit and a life of prayer wherever we see oppression and injustice. Thank you for those who come to the aid of these, the charities, agencies, food banks and individuals. Empower and strengthen them and send your holy angels to protect them as some go into dangerous and desperate places to save and help. As Christmas approaches, Lord Jesus, and we hear the wonderful and humble story of your birth as you came to give us life in all its fullness, show us how to give where we can and to open our hearts to those in need. Help us to pray for those in authority with privilege, status and wealth, to understand how decisions they make affects the quality of lives of their people. Give them the humility they need to understand that, as you served in your lifetime, so should they be servants of their people. May your will be done. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
thank you for joining us for our Christingle service. Perhaps you can gather the items needed to create your own Christingle, or to light a candle to remind you that Jesus is there for us all in our dark times and to encourage us as we go into the next days. And so we ask for God's blessing. We go out into the world to walk in God's light, to live in God's hope, to rejoice in God's love, and to reflect God's glory and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and those we love and care for and remain with us always. Amen.